Hello Stoke community and welcome to another Starbase UGC video tutorial. This is part two of branching dialogue. Um, in the first part I showed you some basics with the talk to contact option of, dia of branching dialogue. This time I'm not going to get into create dialogue through um, the dialogue tab but I'm going to show you uh, some cool things you can do with the default text of an NPC. So here I am, there's a mission to interrogate the prisoner so I'll go up and I will talk to the prisoner. He'll say, can I help you, officer? You are charged with cruelty to Tribbles. That's my only option here. So I click that. He says, I'm innocent. It was the one-armed man. Continue. Okay, so that that's his default text for now. And he says the same thing, and I have the same amount of options uh, however many times I talk to him. But if I do other objectives, for instance, here's a witness. And she says, I saw him kick the triple. And I say, thanks. So I got that clue. I'll come back and I'll talk to him again. And now I have a new option. I have, we have an eyewitness. He says, he or she is lying. I have lots of enemies, especially former slave girls, who are, who are trying to smear my reputation. OK, so I guess I need to interview more witnesses. Here's one. She says, the last time I saw him, he was passionately petting the triple. It was creepy. Okay, so what do I do with that information? Now I have a third option. You showed much public affection for the triple. Petting her calmed me down. See, I would never harm my triple. I loved her. Continue. Okay, so I must need another clue. Here's another witness. That poor, defenseless triple. I was worried about her, too. She seemed to enjoy the pets of many sordid characters, especially men of ill repute. By the way, I have a thing for cops. And I say, just the facts, ma'am. So I've, I've interviewed all the eyewitnesses. I come back to him. And now I have another option. Perhaps you loved her too much. Why do you say that? You couldn't take it that she loved another Orion. I... I, it wasn't like that. She just admitted she cheated on you. Yes, it's true. I confess she got what she deserved for that betrayal. Darn two-timing Tribble. Okay, I got the prisoner to confess, and now I can enter the confession into the console. Okay, now let me go through this once more, and I'll explain what's going on in the story tab before I really go into the editor. The first task, and I have all the actual tasks hidden with different text. So it'll say, talk to prisoner. Well, my actual task is reach the marker. And so I reach the marker. And then I have a task to talk to contact. I can talk to contact. Then my mission objective becomes reach another marker, which I do. Then talk to contact. Then reach the marker. talk to contact reach the marker and then interact with a console oops I guess I didn't talk to her all the way okay talk to contact reach the marker and then enter the data into a console. Let's return to the editor. You should pretty much know how to do everything that I showed you just now except for the dialogue part. Um, there's the story tab and it's reach marker, talk to contact, reach marker, talk to contact, reach marker, talk to contact, reach marker, interact with console. What I did differently here was with the NPC itself and when you click on the NPC which is the Orion commander there's a button down here has default text if you click this has default text button it will let you open an advanced dialog editor and once you're in the advanced dialog editor you can set these buttons each of these buttons can be set to be triggered 
after a certain objective and you can specify what objective to use. Now you notice right now I have this stuff here. I don't know how to get back to that screen where you change the button from visible to invisible. So let's just do it once more with a slave girl because I really had to be careful with this not to edit the buttons before I changed when they appear. Um, but we'll go to the slave girl has default prompt and I'll just put hello if I go to the advanced dialog editor then I can add lots of buttons and for the individual states of the buttons I can change when they become visible so it becomes hidden from invisible and I can specify a objective complete and for the Orion prisoner the objective complete was to talk to each of these slave girls now what's frustrating me is I can do all this here but as soon as I edit the text Oh, I guess it's letting me here. Maybe it's when I put in something else. No, it's still letting me. So why doesn't it let me edit it with this guy? Well, it lets me do it to that button. Then I click on this button and I can no longer edit it. Okay, I must be confused about something here, but hopefully I've explained the basics to you of, of how to use a default text and branching dialogue. And the cool thing about the default text is you can come back to it over and over again. So you can put new buttons in that appear only after the player has done certain things. Um, please experiment with that and let me know what works and what doesn't work. Okay, I think that's part two of this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. Please leave feedback on the forums or the blog, and please leave requests for future tutorials. Thank you.